giant gauntlet worth spending 1500 gems on. The Giant Gauntlet is back in the trader for a limited amount of time for players that missed the Cookie Rumble event. But the question I've been seeing is, is it worth spending 1500 gems on a piece of hero equipment? For me, it might be one of my favorite pieces of equipment, but what exactly does it do? Well, it lasts for 17 seconds at maximum level, which is 27. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna reduce the damage while the king is in this giant form. If you've ever seen the king like going giant when like one of your clan mates are attacking or maybe you're taking a defense, it's because he's wearing the giant gauntlet. And you can pair this with a lot of different things. It's very common to pair it with the rage gem, but I've also seen it paired with the vamp stash and do really well. Not only does it reduce that damage, but it's also gonna allow him to do splash damage. Watch this, he's gonna take out all those buildings. So all the buildings in that little close area are going to take splash damage he's also going to have a little bit of a self healing in a damage per second increase of 180 so this is going to beef up the king and make him very very strong but the question is is it worth spending 1500 gems on which is a little bit over ten dollars or if you're a free-to-play player how do you get the gems to buy the gauntlet and not to mention if you are a free-to-play player is it even worth spending the 1500 gems on it the short answer is definitely yes, but I'm gonna do my best to elaborate and give you guys some tips of how you can get these gems as quickly as possible in case you don't have them. If we take a look in CWL and just pick any random three star here, that player is going to be using a giant gauntlet. Whether it's giant gauntlet with rage gem or even like Skeens uses giant gauntlet with the vamp stash, the giant gauntlet is gonna be the move. Oh, that's me. So of, of course I'm using giant gauntlet, but the giant gauntlet is definitely the move and a really a favor of not only like players in my clans and you know, casual clans, but even like most pros I've seen are using the giant gauntlet with very few exceptions. Here's Skeens with his vamp stash in there. Even players attacking me here in Legends League. Let's see if we could take a look and see. Yeah, we got giant gauntlet, even though it's not max level out there, they are using that giant gauntlet. Even this guy, let's see, Crazy Jack. Ooh, he's not using giant gauntlet. So maybe he needs to get the giant gauntlet because that looks like just default hero equipment. But you see, there's a pretty big trending pattern here of players using the giant gauntlet. There's a max giant gauntlet. So the use case is already there. A lot of people use the giant gauntlet and it's very, very strong. And then I'll just show off one of my attacks here. I mean, this is the Root Rider Valkatech. I've been showing this off a ton. You guys know how it works. Well, the big thing here is when that king goes to ability and he has that damage reduction, it has that splash it is so so massive so let's really keep an eye on our king here he's down here at the bottom side of this space but when he goes to ability that's when things really ramp up and it just protects him allows him to last a little bit longer and man it's just so so worth it so in my opinion if you're able you should be trying your hardest to get the giant gauntlet right there look he's able to just go through there get through the monolith <laughs> the spacesuit is just goofy it's so goofy definitely worth getting this giant gauntlet I don't think it's a biased opinion. I think if we had used stats, which I tried to find, I, if they're out there, I just don't know where they are. If we had used stats, I would say it's probably 95% of players are using the giant gauntlet if they have it. But the question is, how do you get the gems for it if you don't have them right now? I mean, if I had to buy the giant gauntlet on my main account, I would have to load up on gems. Let me give you guys a few tips to gain gems quickly to gain that giant gauntlet. It should be here for a while, but we don't have an exact date on how long the giant gauntlet will be in the shop. My first and most obvious tip to get gems in Clash of Clans is, well, the gem mine. We got 19 gems loaded up in there. You should be building up that gem mine as you progress your builder base. Another thing you can do is also use your clock tower over here and remove obstacles, not only in the builder base, but you can remove obstacles in the home village and removing these obstacles will give you some gems from time to time so definitely remove those obstacles to get gems as well now i'm not necessarily saying do this one but it is a possibility if you really wanted you could go in and you could sell magic items for gems so you could get 10 gems uh for a research po resource potion you could even you know get 10 gems for a hero potion if you really wanted you could sell a shovel of obstacles for 50 you could sell a book for 50 if you really wanted. i mean you could sell a rune for 50 but you could definitely sell some of these potions because you can always go back up to the trader and use raid metals and stock back up on some of these potions so that's just a possibility to get a few gems if you need them one of the easiest ways to gain gems is through achievements and specifically the trophy pushing achievements when you get to 1250 trophies you get 450 gems a lot of us are probably already going to have that but a big one is when you get to crystal league masters league and then finally champs league you get 2000 gems so 
if you haven't pushed the champs league yet now's the time to push the 3200 trophies anyone that is town hall 8 or higher should be able to do this rel relatively quickly i mean you have to be town hall 8 to get the giant gauntlet anyways so you should be able to push the champs league within a couple days in my opinion and if you're not sure how to push a town hall 8 just simply load sneaky goblins inside of your clan castle and snipe town halls it's pretty simple realistically you should be able to run dragons up until like almost probably champs league to be honest with you so now you've saved up the gems you've got the giant gauntlet from the trader now what well upgrade it guys i would recommend once you get that giant gauntlet putting as many of your ores into it as possible it makes that much of an impact it is very very strong i'm not saying you have to get it up to level 27 right away but if you can get it up to like level 12 level 15 and then level 18 really quickly it is going to help you out immensely it is a very strong piece of equipment and it's only going to make your account stronger not only will it make your account stronger but it's also fun just to like change out the skins and just see which skin looks the coolest as a giant gauntlet skin uh i, I just do this sometimes it's it's pretty fun like like giant goblin king like that's it's just so much fun it's just so much fun but in my opinion it'll never get better than giant golem king but that that that's that's not, neither here nor there i mean it does look cool but you should get the giant gauntlet because it is so strong and it is so useful for the barbarian king it's not just because it looks cool it is actually one of the most if not the most useful piece of hero equipment right now in the game so hopefully i've convinced you to get the giant gauntlet but let's go ahead and see if we can seal this video off with a three star here in legends league on my main account with my max gauntlet i mean max gauntlet just it's, it's just so dirty man it's just so dirty let's go ahead and throw all of this in we do get to these ice golems really nice and early which that'll be good and then we'll just run everything right up the middle here uh let's go ahead and let's heal over here actually all right, let's, uh, let's just go ahead and work through here, get these roots working up the middle. Uh, oh, that king did not go down. How did that king not go down? Someone will get him. Someone will get him. All right, let's heal through there. Let's work through here. Okay, nice. Good. All right. Let's hit warden ability there. Perfect. Going. Good, good, good. All right, we need the roots to kind of work through here. Let's send in the head to headhunters over here. All right, queens over there tanking. I think I'm going to bring royal champion in over here. All right, good, nice, solid. Our king is stuck on the wall. Uh, this one, eh, this one, just, uh, this is a little bit annoying. A little bit annoying for sure. Uh, let's go and let's work that freeze in there. Okay, good. All right, RC should go and viz here, right? Uh, okay, there she goes. She goes and viz just in time there. All right, we got king still working through the wall. I'm trying to save his gauntlet as long as possible here. All right, let's see if we can get RC to go and viz one more time. Nice, she does upper ability and then let's actually make her invisible one more here there we go nice all right king's working let's go ahead and let's pop king ability all right good get him going through there all right nice solid it wasn't pretty guys but the the king's gonna tank enough here for the world champion that we should be able to get through not not the most beautiful attack and this one probably didn't really convince anyone <laughs> that the giant gauntlet was needed too much huh yeah because the king didn't do a whole lot but we do get the three star and that's that's all that matters guys we get the nice beautiful three star oh, oh. how did we miss the storage how did we miss the storage over here there we go nice little three star so should you buy the giant gauntlet absolutely well worth the 1500 gems if you can save up 1500 gems do it and get the giant gauntlet today hopefully you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe don't forget to use code bash you guys have a great day keep on clash bashing